everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be talking about my 10 top romances of this year i'm obsessed with romance and <clears throat> you will notice that the majority of these books are sports romances that's what i like my preference i love all type of romance i haven't read um a lot of fantasy romance so that's the one that I don't really go towards because I'm not familiar with it but if you do have recommendations about some good fantasy with romances let me know in the comments because I need romance I cannot just read a book that has no romance or little romance in it it has to have romance so yeah but I have 10 books as you can see um i will not go in order because you cannot make me choose a favorite out of this pile because i love them all so much obviously i have ones that i like more than others but there are some that are equal so that's hard for me but without further ado let's get started so the first book that I'll be talking about is Lucky Hit by Anna Kowan. And this book is about Oakley and Ava. So Oakley is this really talented uh, hockey player. And uh, Ava and Oakley, one night they meet at a party, they vibe. But then they don't see each other for a couple of weeks or days, I don't know. And then they meet at university. And Oakley is this new kid. You know, he's really talented, so he's known so a lot of people know him and some of the hockey players are friends with Ava and that's how they um, meet for the second time and become close friends and then the romance gets there and it was so good Oakley is such a good book boyfriend I really liked it their chemistry they really become friends and then they become lovers which is something that I love and Anna did it with this book. It was really great. And it's a first book in a series or interconnected standalones, but you should totally read. So then the other book, it's Play It Dirty by Michelle Hercules. And this one, it's about Noah and Gia. So Noah is this new, really popular guy that just joined the hockey team. He's really good. And a lot of people are like, yay, the new kid, he's really good. And Gia is the one that manages uh, the social media of the hockey team. So that's how they meet. And in her case, she doesn't want to know anything Thing about hockey players because she didn't have a good experience in that and Noah is literally obsessed from the second he sees her and the more he gets to know her the more he's like this is my dream girl so it was really good another book another hockey romance Iced Out by Veronica Eden this was my first book from her and I'm obsessed it was so good this is the first book in a series it's the only one out for now okay so this one is about Ethan and Maya it starts with him you know playing hockey he's uh, the center I think and he's a cocky uh, leader a captain of the hockey team and then he's at the match and all and a girl from the public grab his attention and then later on his team goes to a bar and she is there but she happens to be with the rivals of the hockey team and her brother plays there and that's how they kind of start something you know it's a little bit it's not forbidden but you know you will not want to date your brother's rival so it was really good he he's such a book boyfriend please read it's not that big of a book it was such a great book please read um this one i'm pretty sure is my most recent five star book and it's love theoretically by ali hazelwood i loved this book like i loved the whole love hypothesis um i read it like a year and a half ago and i did not like the second book uh, love on the brain by ali hazelwood i liked it but not as much i give it a three star or a 3.5 i don't know so i was kind of skeptical about this but boy was i wrong this book is so so good and it follows jack and elsie 
Elsie is this girl that is trying to find a new job and she's doing interviews, a big job compared to the one that she has. She's a teacher, a science teacher or something like that. I'm sorry, I'm not good with science. But she has a, a job on the side and that is to fake dig people, you know, help them out by fake dating them. And she happens to be fake dating Jack's brother. That's how they know each other and and he's one of the people that will decide if she gets the job or not or something like that but it was really good this one has the most science out of the three of them but i didn't care it was so damn good it was so good and people that say that this is the same as love on the brain and the love hypothesis i don't know what you mean because it was not this was so different and i loved it jack please be my boyfriend that's all i'm, I'm going to say the next book this one has such a special place in my heart because i'm literally obsessed with this book and it's a blind side by candy stainer this is a football romance and this is about clay and gianna clay is uh, a football player obviously and Gianna is the one that manages all the media and you know all the things in the football team but she's extremely shy and um, Clay recently broke up with his long time uh, girlfriend and he was like I was I'm going to marry her and all of that and suddenly she's like I don't want to do anything with you and we're done and um he decides to get help from gianna and gianna happens to like this guy and he saw it as an opportunity to make her say yes so they start fake dating he's like if we fake date my ex-girlfriend will be jealous and she will want to get back with me and in her case she will make the guy that she likes notice her so that's how they start this whole fake dating thing and gosh it was so good i read this at the beginning of the year and i'm still obsessed with it it was really good please read another book that i read not long ago it's scoring the player by rebecca jenshak um i love rebecca jenshak sports romance in general it's something that i love and she wrote a series and this is one of them and it's about felix and delia and felix is the quarterback i think of the football team and Dalia is this really shy girl and from the other books you follow her group of roommates they each get their romance and in her case she's the shy one she always goes to this social event with her friends because of their boyfriends but not really it's not really her vibe and Felix uh, decides to help her to you know discover herself and do more things but in a safe way so he decides to help her by fake dating her he knows like how to deal with shy girls because his sister is and he really wants to help her and doesn't want her to get help from something somebody else so then another book is reckless by elsie silver this is part of the chestnut spring series this is the fourth book in the series and this follows Theo and Winter. So we get a crumbs of them from the other books, but Theo is this really like golden retriever guy. You know, he's amazing, good energy and all of that. And from the other books, the little we can tell about Winter is that she's really like serious and not really grumpy, but grumpy in a way. But we get to know her and it's really about them and you know, they have a one night stand and it's a secret baby because obviously Winter gets pregnant and Theo didn't know and later on he finds out and I'm not spoiling anything it says at the back and you can tell by the little freaking boots like isn't this cover so damn cute I loved it it was so good please read the whole series please but read so another book my this is the seventh no eighth book of this list and it's rule number five by Jay Wilder and this is about Jax and Sydney. So basically, Jax is a hockey player. I'm pretty sure he's a captain. And he goes to celebrate with his team that they won, all of that. And a girl from the club grab his attention, Sydney. And, you know, they start chatting and all of that. They're having a good time. And then she discovers that he's a hockey player. 
and she has five rules because she Sydney has a goal and for her to succeed in her goals she has five rules that she must not break because she needs to stay focused and the first rule it's no kissing the second one it's one night only the third book it's no exchange of numbers the fourth one it's no hockey players and the fifth one it's not falling in love so <laughs> Jack sees it not as a rule but as a task, a to-do list. So little by little he checks off the rules and it was really good. So the ninth book of this list is The Right Move by Liz Stumford. And this is about Ryan and Indy. Um, Ryan is a basketball player, a professional basketball player. And Indy is a flight attendant and Ryan happens to be her best friend's twin brother. And that's how really they know each other. And later on, uh, Indy goes through a bad breakup and she needs a place to stay. And Ryan happens to have an extra room. So his twin sister asks him if, you know, Indy could move with him. At the beginning, he's reluctant. But at the end, he caves. And uh, one of the managers or something of the team... Uh, is not his biggest fan because he feel like he's not really a family guy and relatable guy He's always alone. He's a loner. The only thing for him that exists is basically basketball and like his sister so He decides to take the opportunity that Indy is living with him to start a fake relationship so that the manager or the person on his team, you know uh, Really believe in him and all of that you love character-driven stories. Uh, such a good book boyfriend. I love... It was so good. It, it was good. Please read. And last but not least. Um, I saved the biggest book for the end because not everybody likes to read a book that is practically 600 pages. But it's a great book nonetheless. And that is Offside by Avery Keelan. Oh my god, I love this book. This book follows Chase and Bailey. Um, Bailey, her brother and boyfriend, play in the hockey team. And, you know, for her 21st birthday, she's, uh, her boyfriend says, let's go to dinner, you know, fancy dinner and all of that. And he breaks up with her there. I know, in her birthday dinner. But... Uh, he breaks up with her he's like uh we only been together i want to experience more i just want to you know do more things and i cannot with a girlfriend blah 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 obviously she's freaking mad and sad because she's like what the fuck but um later on she meets with chase at a club and from the beginning he could tell that she doesn't like him and he doesn't know why until he discovers that she is the sister of one of the players from his rival team so this is basically your school's rival team it was it was so good it was so damn good little by little you can tell that they become really close and later they start a big relationship and i swear to god i read this like it was absolutely nothing I read this like it was a 200 page book. It was so damn good. I love how they really become close before really like starting having feelings for each other and it was it was so good. But yeah, these are my top 10 books of this year. Obviously, we have a couple of months left of the year and hopefully I will be able to find new five stars. But yeah, that will be all for today's video. Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video guys. Bye!